Nityanandam, we will now be entering into the sixth session of End Pregnancy Care. Till now, there's been a beautiful growth in the being and the mother-to-be has actually experienced something very beautiful which has been given to her. This has put her into the highest space of gratitude. Gratitude to existence for having given her this beautiful opportunity to become a mother. With this, we move into understanding more about what gratitude is. All of us have taken everything in our lives for granted, almost to the tune of thinking it to be your birthright. You feel your body and its miraculous functioning is your birthright. You feel your parents are duty bound to take care of you and it is your birthright. You feel it is your birthright to expect your husband to look after you physically, emotionally and financially. The first thing we need to understand is that no person has taken birth only to serve. He or she is also on the path of life. As a kind gesture of love, they do things for us. I repeat, as a kind gesture of love, they do things for us. Understand not even your breath is your right. Then where is the question of its functioning? The very breath you breathe, your very heartbeat is in the hands of existence. It is only then that it dawns on you that in actuality you are lovingly being taken care of by existence every moment. This simple deep truth brings forth gratitude as a response to recognizing the abundance of existence. It is this energy which connects you directly to the divine energy. It is the channel to commune with existence. It is only through gratitude that one can commune with existence. We need to understand that the whole of existence is an auspicious happening and you are a part of this existence, a very integral part of this existence. Hence, everything happening around you is also auspicious. Nothing that happens in existence is inauspicious. Everything is only a blessing for which we have to be grateful. If this understanding alone happens within us, then there is nothing to complain about in life. It is then that you don't see anything as mundane anymore. Everything becomes a conscious miracle of existence. Gratitude is the ultimate prayer. It is a deep, silent gratitude towards the whole of existence for just being what it is. It is the deep trust that existence is taking care. It always gives us what we need and not what we want. It is a transforming energy that harmonizes you with the energy of universe. Existence simply responds to you. It is that energy that makes your life intense and exciting every moment. Gratitude has a tremendous force of attraction. It works through law of attraction and attracts prosperity to you. How does it actually work? With gratitude towards everything, there is a feeling of contentment and fulfillment within. It is this energy of fulfillment, actually the Purnatva, that attracts fulfillment back through material gains, good relationships, etc. Very often one finds that pregnancy somehow makes you take your relationship with your husband for granted and this could cause a strain in the marriage. You need to understand that each individual plays an equal part in life. After all, he is working for you and the baby. When you feel truly grateful to people, you will not possess them. You will allow the person to have his or her own space. You will also find tremendous compassion towards everything around you. The next thing which we have taken for granted is this body, which has been bestowed upon us for our expression and at this moment is working towards making you a mother. Our body is influenced by our thoughts we entertain. Every cell responds to our thoughts and feelings. We should by all means then feel gratitude towards it 
for achieving the state of pregnancy and giving the fulfillment of motherhood to us. Every day as you get up in the morning, thank your baby for choosing you as a mother. Be in gratitude to your husband for helping you achieve this state and his support. Be in gratitude to your body which is hosting and nourishing your baby. Why does gratitude not happen so easily in individuals? The culprit is expectation. Where there is a desire to possess things all the time, wanting to be the owner. That is when nothing will seem enough. Being established in gratitude, you become the enjoyer and enjoy everything in existence. It is then that everything seems to be overflowing and you are established in fulfillment. Nothing is wanting. 